I've never seen a conflict so emotional, so deep as this one in my lifetime. Everyone says it didn't start in 1948 and we need to do some history. So here we are doing some research, history of the Israel-Palestine conflict. In this conflict, I feel like everybody's saying that it's misinformation on both sides. Cause like I was looking at like some history videos like maybe a couple days ago and every video people in the comments was like, oh, this is a great video. And then some people say, this is the most, I'm reporting this video for the most informed video on YouTube. Like, hmm. like, it's very controversial. Where is the right information? Who it, has the right I information? I think everybody got their side, man. So, you know, it probably will never be a right information. It's just either whoever you feel is wrong or right. Yeah, might be. Well, it's like, it's like you know, everybody gang up. Are you going to choose a side or not? No, I've actually never seen. I ain't going to say they're hate comments, but people Ron us out, chewing us out so bad on those <laughs> videos. Like the Andrew Tate one was insane. I know. The comments were crazy. I've actually I never seen that in my life. I knew it was going to happen too. I didn't know it was going to happen like that. That was pretty bad. I knew. They're talking about when you see dumb, uh, the dumb Americans, uh, we see how much our education is paying off. Somebody said, I see why the UK has better education than America. So, I just don't understand why they think they this is something right. that would come up in school. We learn about the Plymouth and the, <laughs> the Texas uh, history. Yeah, like, we're not learning about this. I didn't even know this yeah. is truly a conflict. It's, until. This is nothing that would ever come up in a, a Maybe if you're a, a history, history major book. or some. But no, I no, this was a conflict. Yeah, we, yeah, we ain't learned this in school at yeah, all. Like, like we learned about the World War. I didn't even know they moved people to the Middle East after the World you know, War II. I didn't even know that. It's actually annoying when I see comments of people be like, you guys say you're college graduates. What do you think <laughs> happens in college? You think you just go and just get a whole bunch of classes and you learn about stuff? No, that's not how it works. Yeah, you pick a focus? You pick a focus and you learn about things in that focus. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is a very <laughs> emotional conflict. Very so controversial. We very are emotional. trying our best to educate ourselves on the conflict. So we have Indeed. a video here. Let us know what y'all think about the video. History of the Israel-Palestine conflict. Here we are. Dun, I, actually, dun, I, dun. I actually need to we double, love double down on what I said. I went to school for business. Learn about business. Kanees. <laughs> they about your Kanees. Ass. They're just reading the comments. They're talking about, you guys say you went to college? You went to business school. I went to business school. Yeah, I mean. You went to kinesiology I mean, even school. Even they don't you went teach. To media moving arts school. Other countries' history. That's what I'm saying. We're not, unless, unless you're like picking up a, a foreign, a, a foreign yeah. affairs class, which I definitely did not take. We're not gonna learn something like this ever. Yeah. yeah. And this is, even this if we is, took a history class, it's gonna be United I, I States took, history. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I took history to 1880s or something, and we learned about the United States. I took Kansas history. It was pretty cool. All United States history. Yeah. When, when, when of us? Facts. Well, Kansas was the first free slave state. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. It, it talked about a lot. That's crazy. I, 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 even took a, I even took a <laughs> cultural class where we learned about different cultures, but we didn't learn about this. Yeah, I've actually we never learned about seen like it. different religions across the world and things like that. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never actually seen an option to take another like country's history class. Oh no, that's definitely an option. The school just yeah. gotta offer it. Yeah, I remember yeah. I took yeah. it. Well, yeah, yeah. I've never so seen like option them, for you. That would be like one yeah. of them weird, <laughs> say, that'd be one of them weird <laughs> credits you gotta take. Yeah, I took a class about death like at UL. So like, yeah, did. I remember Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. That was weird, bro. Right. Well guys, well this is all new to us. Let's go ahead and get it. Israel, the world's only Jewish state, located east of the Mediterranean Sea, and Palestine, the territory of the Arab population that hails from the Israel-controlled land, have long been known for their enduring conflict with the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The tension between Israel and Palestine oh, has been deteriorating. My mind. So it said they're the only Israel country, right? Or the state. Only Jewish, yeah. So what? Okay, so the Jews are, or who are they supposed to be? What do you mean? Like race wise? Like yeah, race wise. That's like, a good question. I think they're just like, people that just like Middle Eastern Jewish religion. I would say mis like you're saying like skin tone. And yeah, all that. like who are they? Are you, religion like, is in a race. Well, I, I thought Jewish seen, people is brown hair. I've seen a lot of people in this uh, uh, speak on this t conflict, and they say that these people look like like the Palestinians and Jewish people look like. Yeah, I've heard that. I've I heard can, a lot of people say. I can see that too. Yeah, yeah our good friend said that. Didn't but, he say yeah, that? He said yeah. that. And he's Jewish, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he said that. He said yeah. that. I know. Yeah, because over majority... here, it would make sense. They're in the same place, right? Yeah. Also, I know a lot of them came from Europe, so they might be of European descent. So, so how do Probably white-skinned well, or such. A lot of them, yeah. 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 Over there, yeah. No, we yeah. can't say that because some of them is kind of like... Because some, some Palestinians, you can really tell but, but, but a lot of them were like pushed to this land. This is what I got from Ben Shapiro video. He said like, like they start coming from Europe because Europe was not letting them in because they were afraid of conflict with Arab countries. So they were like... 
you can't come to Europe. So they start like putting them here and they start letting like a certain number of people in and things like that. Okay, so After Jews- After World War II, they just gave the land to the Jewish people and in most 1948 Jews, and really, they established it as Israel. I'm most, pretty sure that's what he said. Most Jews, their religion is Christianity or Muslim? No, no, they're no. Their no. Own Jews, religion. Judaism is Jewish a religion, is, yeah. brother. That's not you like didn't a race. know that? Race. No, yeah. It's a, this it's ain't Christian religion. versus Muslim. Yeah. It's Jewish versus Muslim. No, I know. So, okay, so like, what? what? Like, the the Jews do they believe in Jesus? No. They believe in Jesus haven't came yet. They believe that they're still waiting on Jesus. Yeah, they still waiting on Jesus. They believe that Jesus existed, but they don't believe he was the Messiah. Yeah, they, they believe they're us. still waiting on the Messiah. Yeah. And I think okay. the Muslims don't believe Jesus. So when Jesus came to that land in our book, he was a prophet. And when Jesus came to that land in our book, who was there? Hmm? What people were there when Jesus came to that land in Israel? In our yes. book? The Jews, because they said Jesus was a Jew. Yeah, it was in Jerusalem. And they said Je Jewish was According the to the Bible. Yeah. I don't want the, the cookie. I don't, I'm just yeah, saying. Okay. Well, maybe, we'll take a hit, maybe we'll take a history lesson on that. Let's that, get to this video. It's a lot of questions. That's what the Bible told us. Let's say this. That's what the Bible told us, y'all. Yeah. I've never. So they have a Jewish book. Yes, they got yeah, their own I book. So. Yeah, they got their own okay. I think but it's I called. Think they, don't they also let's, let's go let's off the, that. the, the Old Testament? Testament? Yeah, I think, I think they go I off think, the Old Testament as well. I think. I think. I think a lot of religions go off quick? the Old Testament. Let's see. Hold on, real quick. Just a, just a quick Google. But I know for sure Muslims do for sure go off the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And I know their 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 book is the Quran. That's right. The Torah? Jewish people, that's yeah. The, yeah. That's what they believe. Yeah, the Torah. The, yeah. That's the basis of their Bible. The Hebrew Bible. Yeah. That's the basis of their Bible. Yeah, the Torah. Yeah, yeah. The Muslims have the Quran. It, yeah. it said it includes the same books as the Old Testament in the Christian Bible. Yes. Yeah, it's the Old Testament. That's yeah. what you said. Everybody had the Old Testament. So they're kind of, I mean, we're not, I guess See, that's Christians where it, the New Testament, though. Right? The Christians New Testament, believe, that's what bring everybody when Jesus off. came, he was the Messiah, and that's where the okay. New Testament okay. starts. Okay, 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 okay. Makes sense. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Israel, the world's only Jewish state located east of the Mediterranean Sea, and Palestine, the territory of the Arab population that hails from the Israel-controlled land, have long been known for their enduring conflict with the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The tension between Israel and Palestine has been deteriorating in years, climaxing with many violent clashes between the two sides. To understand the root of the Israel-Palestine conflict, we have to look back a few thousand years ago. Early History of Israeli-Palestinian Conflict in the 17 centuries BC, oh, wow. following the call of God, three patriarchs of the Jewish people, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, settled in Canaan, a region approximating present-day Israel, the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip, parts of Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan. The region later had the name the Land of Israel, the Promised Land, the Palestine region, or the Holy Land. In 1000 BC, King Saul established the Israelite monarchy, which then was ruled by King David who made Jerusalem the capital of his kingdom, and his son King Solomon who built the first temple in Jerusalem. After the death of King Solomon, the united monarchy was split into the Kingdom of Israel in the north, with Samaria as the capital and the Kingdom of Judah in the south, with Jerusalem as the capital. Oh wow! The land became home to a majority of Jews, but then it was subject to numerous conquests of various groups, leading to the significant decrease of the Jewish population on the land. One of these conquests was conducted by the Roman Empire, who gave the name Palestine to Judah, intending to break the Jewish connection with the land of Israel. During this time, Christianity, which started as a Jewish sect, ultimately became a dominant religion toward the end of the Roman Empire. In the 7th century came an Arab conquest, beginning the spread of Islam. The Dome of the Rock was built on the ruin of the Second Temple, making Jerusalem the holy city to three monotheistic religions, so Judaism, crazy. Christianity, and Islam. That's the, After Christians in Jerusalem were intensely persecuted by the Seljuk Turks, a Central Asian Empire with ambition to expand its territory, Christians in Europe launched several crusades to bring the holy city back to the hand of the Christians. During this time, many Jews were killed. Others were making pilgrimages everywhere, mostly in Western Europe. From the 16th century to World War- So is this supposed to be around the time that the era was like the Hundred Year War where they had like Muslims and Christians was like fighting for like almost a hundred years? They're probably so. Cause I know they were fighting there for a long time. I remember they said that was like- And what, the what century did Jesus come? He just passed know. it up, didn't he? This is like- Yeah, after this, this, yeah this, this is AD. After. This is AD. After. Okay, okay. This is AD. This is insane. From the 16th century to smoke. World War I, the Holy Land, along with much of the Middle East, was ruled by the Ottoman Empire, an Islamic superpower. 
the land was unofficially called Palestine. At the same time in Europe, more and more Jews were joining a movement called Zionism, aiming to create a Jewish national state in its ancient homeland. Hence, in the first decade of the Whoa. 20th century, tens of thousands of Jews moved from Europe back to the region. Whoa. I told you they came from Europe. Okay. Makes sense. Israel and Palestine under the British rule. Whoa. Okay, I don't want to say stupid, but it's just an idea. Rule. Just an idea. Do you think that the Zionism thing came because they were being killed a lot? That's yeah. what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. Zionism, okay, Zionism is I like... I not hear it, but that's what I thought in my head. Wow, okay. It's like the, it's, it's like the protection of like a Jewish okay, state, isn't okay, it? Okay, okay. Isn't that what Zionism is? I don't know. Yeah. Textbook yeah. definition? Yeah, I, think, I think. Is that so, what he said on here? Rewind it. I'm pretty sure no, that's, 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 that's the definition wrong, of Zionism. No, yeah, yeah, protection of them and stuff like that. But I was just saying, like, did that how that came about was because they were being, you know, slaughtered like that. Yo, and this is injury. insane. Oh, this is a great is, video. Cause like, yeah, I think all, the, every, all history is really like is, is making sense. So this still is like a religious war. They, that's it's, what we've been saying. And it's so much still. It's it's so much wars and type of wars going on right now. They trying to cancel Christianity up there by. The Ukraine, like, yeah, yeah, but like, why is they not fighting for that? Well, they is fighting for that, so it's just like, well, Russia's fighting for it. This seems like I'm saying it's extremely though. accurate. It's not fitting their political agenda anymore. I don't know how accurate it is, it. but when we were watching that chosen that show, I mean, that, that empire was in that show, the so Roman? it seems pretty, yeah. The Roman Empire, you're talking the about Roman Empire. Yeah. This is insane, bro. Israel and Palestine under the British. I didn't rule. notice. World War I exploded and ended with the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. Its land in the Middle East was carved by the British and French empires. The British then gave more independence for Iraq and Jordan, and the region remaining under the control of the Britain was what it called the oh, British gracious. Mandate for Palestine, where Britain promised to establish a Jewish national homeland under its Balfour Declaration, wow. which went into effect in 1923. That's crazy. Tensions between the Jews and the Arabs who both claimed the land grew, which even led to acts of violence. By the 1930s, following the increasing Jewish population in Palestine due to the fear of persecution during the Nazi reign in Germany, the British limited Jewish immigration. In response, the Jewish militias formed to both fight the Arabs and resist the British rule. Damn. Damn. Then came the Holocaust throughout Nazi Germany which claimed Damn. almost 6 million Jewish lives. Damn. Oh After the war, God. more and more Jews then fled from Europe to Palestine to seek a homeland, escalating the tension with the Arabs. Overwhelmed by the situation, Britain began to withdraw from the region. The That's birth crazy. of the Israel That makes state. sense why they make everybody do two years. After World War II, the UN proposed a plan to partition Palestine into two independent states, a Jewish state and an Arab state, with the city of Jerusalem. But they do two years. I don't in the military. They have to serve in the IDF. They got two I know, years. I know you do, but is it two or is it four? I thought it was two. I thought, well, she whatever, said, I thought we was told two. Like, the people I have met from Israel, I thought they told You know two. people from Israel? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know a couple people. <clears throat> Really? And you I know what? Do you know what's interesting? He said Great Britain got out because of the basically the beef between the two. So that kind of shows what the United States is only option is. Escalating the tension with the Arabs. Overwhelmed by the situation, Britain began to withdraw from the region. See, they was overwhelmed. So they the birth of the Israel it. state. After World War II, the UN proposed a plan to partition Palestine into two independent states, a Jewish state and an Arab state, with the city of Jerusalem becoming an international zone with a special status. However, the plan according to which the Jewish, accounting for only one-third of the population, was granted more territory, 56.5% of the land, was rejected by the Arabs. They began to form volunteer armies throughout Palestine. Less than one year after that, as Britain completed its withdrawal from Palestine, Israel declared itself an independent state, marking a new bloodier chapter in the struggle between the Jews and the Palestinian Arabs. Damn, damn, man. That was just... The 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Right after the announcement of an independent Israel, a war between the Arabs and the Jews broke out, which was known as the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. 
The war involved five recently independent Arab nations. Okay, I don't know if I'm not paying attention. I'm confused again. How did it, did it say how the Arabs were there? Like, yeah, how did they, they get can't. there? They, they were was, there. They was already there. Yeah, they were well, there. Because remember, said, they, were uh, trying to, the, they were trying to establish Islam in the region. The the Roman Empire. Or the, the Ottoman. The Ottoman. The Ottoman. Ottoman. Yeah, it was Muslim. Yeah, the, the Ottoman, Ottoman Empire. And the, the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. Okay. Which led to more Jews coming to the region. But there were Jews there before that, Yeah, too. there was Jews there before that, yes. They were both there. They yeah, both been there. there. They that's been that's there the problem. Yeah, they were both there fighting over it. So, like... There this right this kind of this opened my eyes this, this a lot click right more there. different now because now right. you see it like this. Let's go and explain it right here. Just, yeah, just, hit, yeah. just let it explain it real quick. In the seventh century came an Arab conquest, beginning the spread of Islam. The Dome of the Rock was built on the ruin of the There's Second Temple, in, in, making uh, Jerusalem the holy city to three monotheistic religions: Judaism, Christianity. Okay. See, this okay. is where the issue comes, because three, basically three religions, believed that, that was their holy, holy land. land. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, but they said, see, that that spread of that is when Palestinians got there, but there was Jews there before that. And there was also, so there was. I don't, you know, I'm just. <laughs> it's a lot, gang. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did they say? The Jews were there before that, though. It says they said at the beginning. Were, three of their prophets were. There. After the death of King Solomon, the united monarchy was split into the Kingdom of Israel in the north, with Samaria as the capital and the Kingdom of Judah in the south, with That's Jerusalem crazy. as the capital. The land became home to a majority of Jews, but uh, then it was subject okay. to numerous conquests of various groups, See, leading right to there. the significant Positive. decrease of the Jewish... Okay, 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 okay. So okay. it was... But then it was a, a multiple. So that... I think it boils down to... This there is, was multiple religions there. This is... This is this is before all the other religions got there, okay, though. Okay, okay, this, yeah. this is when they it was just, just... Technically, yeah. If you go off it, technically, yeah. The, the Jews was there first. Yeah, technically. Okay. Jews, okay. If we went off of who there first battled it. If you use this historical context... And, and we go off the Bible. No, yeah, that makes sense. Land after they yeah, see, and then it says right there with the crown, that's the Ottoman Empire. One of these conquests was conducted by the Roman Empire, Roman who gave the name Palestine to Judah, intending to break the Jewish connection with the land of Israel. Okay. During this time, Christianity, so which Romans. started as a Jewish sect, ultimately became a dominant religion toward the end of the Roman Empire. In the 7th century came an Arab conquest, beginning the spread of Islam. The Dome of the Rock was built on the ruin of the Second okay. Temple, making Jerusalem the holy city to three Is monotheistic religions. So Judaism, Christianity, so this and point, Islam. This is after okay. Jesus. This is 636 right AD. Yeah. So Jesus has passed. This is right, yeah. So Jesus is where people start they said, splitting. They said in, in, in so I think that was 900 B, uh, 63 BC, they said Christianity became the uh, majority religion of this whole region. Then the Islamic uh, conquest happened, and then they start spreading Islam in this region. So it was already a Jewish region, and Christianity stemmed from Judaism, and now you got Muslims or Islamic people. So now there's three monotheistic religions. Yeah. Mono okay. Monotheistic means they have one God. Isn't that what that means? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it just boils down to it's three different religions, holy land. You yes. can't tell sure. someone their religion exactly. is wrong. Exactly. So that's what it that's what it boils down to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is this is this is um when they try to do the compromise. This is a year before they uh, Israel declares so, so independence. People saying it started in 1948. They wrong too. Because it started before 1948. Yeah. No, yeah. that's what people were saying. Because I, I only had information up to when this was even, Israel was even established. I just knew the UN gave that land to them and then they tried to have a compromise as we're about to see in uh, Arabs of that region said no the but they but it also about. said why they said no it said they said no because the Israelis who were one third of the population got 56.5 percent of the land That's so that why means they, they got upset. they got less land there are more of them so they were pissed they were like hell no so then, then they said this started a war Shit. and Israel started uh, declared their independence they was like yeah whatever I ain't gonna lie learning this now, it really changed my opinion about this whole situation. To be honest with you, I might be a messed up person for saying this, but America don't really have no business to be over here. No, America yeah. can't do anything. Yeah, yeah no. we can't do nothing about this. Well, man. the only reason we're involved is because Israel is our only ally in the Middle East. Right, right. And they're the only place that's a democracy that shares our values. You can that's vote true. there, you can that's be free true. there. That's true. That's the only place in the Middle East that does I, that. Yeah, and yeah, they're our only yeah, ally. We yeah. actually, I'm pretty sure Obama signed a, a, a bill while he was in office to give Israel $3 billion a year. But that's like, stupid. That, that's I feel like we shouldn't. Like, 
like some stuff like that, like funding the war is definitely a problem. That's pretty much what's but going I mean, on. That's what I like. If you want to do that, you're funding it. They said they funded both sides, though, because of that. And then they said they also that too. Gave some to Iran, too. So if you fund both sides, I don't see how that's justified. How you? I don't know what they're doing, bro. I don't know. War is bad, though, period. War is funding horrific. Yeah, that's just, that's evil. I can't lie. So, like, it's I'm, evil, bro. They, if they knew, know. like, they knew the history behind this shit, like, funding a war, that is. But the fact that Donald Trump we just said, have to, we can have we to. find the footage of when Donald Trump said, if Joe Biden <laughs> signs that bill, that they'll invade? Because if we find that footage, because he we, knows the history. When did we come up with that? He said, they, when did oh, we learn that he Donald said that? No, they that? are ready to fight and die. Joe Biden, did you see that picture of Joe Biden with that cake? Oh, his birthday cake? Yeah. That yeah. was yeah. scary yeah. 83 shit. candles Bro, on it. he had candles all the way around it. And it was just candles. on fire. And he yeah. sat there like this. And it was looking like the world was just burning with just the whole cake on fire. It was disgusting. Stop, stop playing. Nah, bro. Yeah. You didn't see it, bro? He had 83 all right, candles bro. I'm going to show you and we're going to keep going, bro. No, I'm not. No, bro. No, 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 no. I'm not boosting. Why he be boosting? Just talking about birthday cake. Nah, bro. Man, stop joking, bro. Nah, bro. It is a lot of candles he, on This is table. evil. If you're funding a war, it's evil, bro. United States is wrong and it's evil, bro. All right. I don't understand the context here. It's just him celebrating his birthday. Brother, it just looks <laughs> that bad. Evil. It looks it bad. Like, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Look at that. No, 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 no. So many people on Twitter were wrong him out about this, bro. Because he's old. He probably They're going to wrong him out about anything, too, though. I know, bro. But it just looks bad. After you funded the war, sending all this money, bro, and it just on fire, and you just sitting there. It just looks bad. All right, it's it's really bad. Bad. So, PR okay. Standpoint. This is so weird, bro. Okay, so should America even be in, like... Ukraine then too It's like Why are we over here I don't bro? think we should be anywhere I don't, I don't understand I don't there, understand bro? Why we're helping Ukraine But I understand it In this context um, We don't want Russia To tempo, uh, start invading countries And take over the land That's So true yeah. too. In That's order true. to keep Make Russia From gaining uh, From having a whole Takeover over there We support Ukraine And support their fight For independence As an independent country that's but, So okay. that's why we help Ukraine What about all yeah. That's free how it's explained to me yeah. What about them Free independent states That's right next to them That can also Come together and help them. They probably no. against Russia. Russia. They're poor though. How are they poor? Russia. They, don't, they don't have the. They, don't have the, mother Russia. they can't provide mother the same Russia. type. They can't provide the same type of assistance that we yeah, the United can. States, as the United, United States, we got that military. So that's that's why we help them. That's literally why. That's I remember I had the same argument with my dad. And he was like, "Well, well, you have to really look all, at it from a strategic standpoint. If they all put their little bread together sides. and say, "Hey, man, we caught some of them ammunition from America and break them off. We can send it over there for them. Then America had to use yeah. their own bread in their pockets." <laughs> It's really not that simple. Like it really was. It, so it, it, could, it could be that simple, but you know, it never is. You know, it's not. So. But this problem was gonna happen. But uh, Joe Biden sparked let's, it. Let's, let's watch this video. This let's is watch a, the rest of this video. This is We're insane, getting off on tangents but it, here. It seems like this was gonna happen. No, this regardless, really, this and this has been <laughs> happening. This is a problem that needs this to be fixed. This is some corrupt stuff going on. But uh, looking at this, United States, I think we need to stay out of this shit, bro. We that's what Vivek said, man. We're setting the flame on the shit. All right, let's go. It's gonna, like, oh, that's a bad it's gonna forever. gonna forever be a flame, bro. Somebody yeah, feel like that's their land, um, bro. We 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 sparked it. No, we, 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 we ain't sparked it. We, well, it okay, sparked. We, we, I was we, we fanned the, the flame. flame. We fanned. Yeah, we yeah, put that's oxygen what we do. That's what we do. I was trying to say, nigga, they, the blunt was already rolling. We sparked it. Bro. All right, don't use those things. <laughs> I don't know. Subscribers don't do those things. Okay, I got this. You put more wood on the wood fire, the campfire, got After World War II, the UN proposed a plan to partition Palestine into two independent states a Jewish state and an Arab state, with the city of Jerusalem becoming an international zone with a special status. Mm. However, the plan That's according hard. to which the Jewish, accounting for only one-third of the population, was granted more territory, 56.5% of the land, was rejected by the Arabs. They began to form volunteer armies throughout Palestine. Less than one year after that, as Britain completed its withdrawal from Palestine, Israel declared itself an independent state, marking a new bloodier chapter in the struggle between the Jews and the Palestinian Arabs. This is crazy, man. The 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Right after the announcement of an independent Israel, a war between the Arabs and the Jews broke out, which was known as the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The war involved five recently independent Arab nations, Egypt, Jordan, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon, Whoa. the Arab League, who invaded the region in an attempt to establish a unified Arab Palestine. 
However, a ceasefire agreement was reached a year later, in which more than two-thirds of historic Palestine, including the West Jerusalem, belonged to Israel, while Jordan occupied East Jerusalem and the area known as the West Bank, and Egypt occupied the Gaza Strip. As a result, more than 750,000 Palestinians were expelled from the land where they lived for centuries on the day that they call Al Nakba, or of the catastrophe. I've heard of this. Oh, With the deteriorated dispute between the Jews and the Arabs, there came more wars and fighting in the following decades. The 60 Day War. 66. It was in 1967 when the 60-Day War broke out, after a My volatile period of diplomatic hour. friction and skirmishes yeah. between Israel and its neighboring Arab states, Jordan, Syria, and Egypt. This brief war ended with the victory of Israel, giving Israel control over the Golan Heights from Syria, Damn. the West Bank and East Jerusalem from Jordan, Damn. and Gaza and the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt. Sinai was later returned <laughs> to Egypt under the Egypt-Israel <laughs> Peace Treaty. Show. After the war, help. most Palestinian refugees and their descendants were not allowed to return to their homes, but had to live in Gaza, the West Bank, and neighboring Damn. Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. Oh, wow. The First Intifada and the Oslo Accords the rising number of Israelis settling in the Palestinian territories in the West Bank and Gaza gave rise to the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, first founded in Cairo, Egypt in 1964 to create a liberated oh, okay, Palestine in Israel. The PLO launched attacks on Israel from its base in Jordan. It was then forced to move from Jordan to Lebanon, starting to carry out acts of terrorism against Israel. Fighting went on for years, oh, including the Israeli gross. invasion of Lebanon to kick the PLO out of Beirut. The PLO oh, wow. eventually agreed to divide the land between Palestine and Israel, but there were still more and more Jewish settlers moved into the Israel-occupied Palestinian territories. In 1987, a violent Palestinian uprising was ignited, starting from the Jabalaya refugee camp after an Israeli Defense Forces truck collided with two Palestinian civilian vans, killing four of them. This was known as the First Intifada. This bloody conflict resulting in hundreds of deaths triggered a peace process with the signing of the Oslo Accords by Israel and the PLO, the Oslo I Accord signed in Washington, D.C., and the Oslo II Accord in Taba, Egypt. Can we pause this really quick? Oh, According wow. to the Oslo Accords, the West Bank was divided into three areas. We always got our fingers in some shit, man. Oh, man. Um, oh, I can definitely see why a lot of people of Palestinian descent feel like they've been wronged. Um, they definitely. fought for their land, and they've continually lost. They said that uh, Al Nakba, 750,000 people expelled, yeah, that is, yeah. lost their homeland. Then the Six Day War, and Israel fought off three. Three different countries. I, I, I remember reading about that when I was reading the. Um, that's crazy. The uh, where I got my first stuff with the Gaza Strip information. They said that's like a miracle day. Well, they call that like a miracle war because they fought off. They fought three, three different, different battles at, at once and won all of them. That's oh, they're outnumbered and everything. After Damn. reviewing this history, Israel. though, I'm really like after seeing this, I'm not surprised on why what each side. Yeah, why, why I, 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 I can, I can never happened. see why people in Israel that believe that this is theirs and that they have the right to be there, especially when you get the historical context behind it but I can also see why the Palestinians feel like yes, they yeah. deserve to be free because yeah. some of that land was theirs at first yeah, and they said, lost yeah. it due to the conflicts and now it's just getting worse and worse for them and as you see they said the PLO had even resorted to terroristic tactics and what was that 1970 when that started yeah, they said yeah. 1970 and even from the very beginning at the very 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 beginning of the video it said there were multiple religions there so that's just yeah goes down to this it. video just showing me like it looked like Israel don't want to take no losses yeah Israel's standing on that they said this is this is our they land we're gonna fight no for it you know and when you look and at Palestine, it, 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 Palestinian people it, been doing it. what they're doing and Israel people been doing what they're doing I mean, so it's kind of like when you look at it when you look at it the aspect from from the time it started to now. It's the Palestinian answer. land has continually got smaller. Yeah, it has. It's continually got smaller. They had, like Gaza Strip was had L, way yeah. bigger. Yeah, it was way bigger. Now they it's did. way tinier. So I can see why people think that like they've lost their land and they're uh, being wronged. I can definitely see that. But I can also see why Israel believes that this is theirs. I mean, they fought for it and won. Like literally, yeah. literally when you read American history books, how do we get shit? We fought oh, yeah, for, for it and won. Yeah, that's facts. So, therefore, you so and, 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 and people say that it was America context, that uh, basically made. 
Israel win, but I just looked up. They became America's ally in 1989, and they fought that war against three countries on their own in the 70s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah That's they why they call, it, they call it a miracle war. Yeah. Did you look, did, did you say that uh, they, they won that war by themselves, though? Yeah, they did. They, 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 they did say that. They call like, it a miracle war. Damn, that's hey, crazy. Look, I, I read it. I read it when I was reading that stuff. That's why they used God to say. You read on this and they won that war by themselves. It's, it's, yes. Strictly Jews. Yeah, look it up. Six Day War. I'm going to keep it 100. I heard well, the story. They had one of the. Uh, Israel do have one of the most powerful militaries there is. Boy, yeah. hey, we give them $3 billion a year. We're making sure they. Bro, you got to realize they're in a hostile situation. Yeah, they Did in you see all them Arab countries that tried to freaking get them out of there? Yeah. And they had to stand on business alone? Yeah. If that's our only ally, we have to make sure they're safe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you have to look at it. You have yeah. to make sure your allies is cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to keep it 100. Keep it 100. Damn, hey, everybody okay. want to crucify me for saying it? But, hey, they'll but crucify you what you say me, either way. But they was protecting their homeland. When you look at it in that aspect When you look now, at it from a historical context, when you look yeah. at the, when you get all the that, historical background. If you look background. at it from all of this. I mean, they've been fighting for this shit, though. So it's been both of their land, technically. But, I mean, they were there first. I mean, they still don't history, business. No, bro, they have, they, 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 they have to realize, though. You have to realize, though. Islam has a mosque that they built there in, back in, what was that, like 900 BC? But that's still in the West Bank. No, they did. Because Jerusalem was still in the West Bank. It looked like. But you got to realize, though, when Islam did their conquest, they said they built a mosque there for Islam. So that is a extreme. It became all three that was, of their. That was, bro, that was, how many, that was in BC. That yeah. was years ago. It boils down to all three of them. Recognize but, that as a holy land. Yeah, so you got to realize that that is a holy mosque for them. And it's in damn near Israeli territory now. Oh, so yeah. they, they, they're, they're going to fight for their religious, their religious background to fight for their religious site. Yeah, I, see, I feel like, like if somebody, if we had like a church, right? Let's say this is like a super, super freaking uh, famous, like historical context. It was there in 21 uh, what DC when Jesus was walking the earth? They, that's where Jesus turned water into wine. Just hypothetical speaking. Well, see, they got and that place. So I'm real. just hypothetical yeah, though. I'm just being why. hypothetical. Let's say this place existed, and it's in the middle of a place where they a bunch of atheists. They're like, yeah, no. Nah. We can we go fight for that butt. Yeah, the Jews won that war by themselves, though. We're going to come get that. No, no, this is a hypothetical situation. But damn near we're what you're saying is damn near not hypothetical. No, no, I was using that hypothetical situation. I know. But it's damn near not hypothetical. Like, that's damn near the situation. Yeah, I was using it for different things. But it's in Jerusalem, right? But then they make Jerusalem like a non state at all. It's like, it's like, almost like trying to do Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. They were trying to do that. They were trying to do that. But. They, the Arabs, who were the majority wow. of people in the region, were not cool with, lose, with getting a shorter thing of land. I can understand what that. It's what more of us. Why would we get less? So when did the 80-20 thing come? I thought that was... So thing. if all the other countries helped them, why wouldn't they accept them now? That is... That is messed up. That's we a know good question. why. That's a great we question. That is why. messed That's up. A good question. We what know do you have why. Right there? What do you have right there? It said but, they eliminated roughly 90% of uh, Egypt's air force. That is insane. That is. That's just one of the. Uh, six, that's uh, one of the countries. Yeah, fought, but fought, if you look at it like that, they fought in Lebanon. They fought in Egypt and they no. fought. The was it Syria? Yeah, Jordan, Syria, Jordan. and Iraq. Yeah. Damn. Uh, okay. But look, 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 can we can we say though like maybe the Jews were just tired of getting pushed around, bro? Uh, that's one hundred percent what that's it was. That's what happened. Yeah, bro. And they're just like we gotta protect dots. our people, so six, we gotta do whatever. Six million of them died. You know, six million of them died. Both sides feel that way. Keep it. Yeah. Both sides feel that way. They both sides feel like that way. For sure. For sure. So. Okay, so Jews are in a situation basically where it's them and then all the countries it's literally around them, them versus are everybody. It's are them Muslims. versus everybody around them. But they're I'm, in a hostile situation. Yeah, I'm so confused. Because it's Muslim countries all around them. I'm I'm confused how back in the day they would have helped the Palestinian all them countries and now they're just land them just. But but I, I think just, that I just, think that many of those those countries. Might not, even though they're both Muslim, they might not have been the same like principles. It's probably so, but it's insane. I mean, maybe, that maybe they'll say it in the video. You know, we can keep maybe. speculating, but why. we don't know but, for sure why. But like, we know, literally have no idea. You maybe, know what else made know. it crazy too? They're probably gonna mess y'all up. That I seen, like how they had them radical groups, like the terroristic group started in Egypt and then went over there. So yeah, that was crazy. So that let me know. This is forever gonna be a that's a talk thing, and so it's probably yeah, like, it it's probably bad. some radical stuff that's probably not gonna be you know. Let's, let's, let's finish this up though. It's this is actually of, really yeah, interesting. It is. It is. It is. It is, it is, it is, it is extremely it is. interesting. This messed me up. The, the, art, like, the, the art style of the video make it very easy to yeah, just you gotta understand, understand why. Just, why would they become radical though? You know, because like bro. They're they freaking. Like they're getting pushed, they are, around. Yeah, they are getting pushed around. They are pushed around. They lost their land. Uh, uh, their people have been. Uh, if you look at the death count on both sides, the Palestinian count is extremely, it like, is, substantially it is. higher. Like substantially. 
But like I was saying, like, like why are why isn't it in radical groups in Syria, Iraq, and Jordan? There literally is they radical got groups in Syria, Iraq. Yeah. I feel like there is. I, 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 you forget about the activists. ISIS, ISIS was a ISIS. 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 Why was it radical? Why was, was it radical? Was it Taliban or because they lost their land too? Bro, they are fighting against Christians. It's Muslims and Christians fighting in their land. I don't know. Okay, so ISIS was in Syria. I'm pretty sure because we Donald Trump sent strikes over there. The Al Qaeda was in. Okay, was Al Qaeda was in Iraq? Yeah. And the Taliban was in Afghanistan. No, the Hezbollah is in. Is no, in, I thought Taliban was in Iraq, and I think uh, no, it's probably you. Probably right. I'm just guessing. I, I'm just saying extremist groups. Then you got Hamas in, in Palestine. All these are extremist groups in the Middle East. So you got Taliban. You got uh, where was that? Iraq. We said. Yeah. Then we got Al Qaeda, Afghanistan. Then you got Hezbollah. Where were they at? Lebanon. What was mm-hmm. that? Where we saw? And then was the Yemen the, too? I Yemen, think, Yemen, Yemen, Yemen. I think they have Yemen. A Yemen uh, ISIS was in Syria. Then uh, Hamas in Palestine. That's five really extremist groups. Why extreme. ISIS, okay, I see somewhere it says they lost ninety nine percent of their territory, but then I also see something about they just want to uh, create a, a global uh, Judaist movement. A what? Judu? Jude, how do you say? Judaeus. Judaeus movement. Movement. ISIS. It said. It said. Why were they created? Yes, Hezbollah is in Lebanon. And that's an extremist group. So we just got five but, extremist groups all in this area. So I mean, when you say why are they rising to extreme? Extremism. I mean, you, you can see why. So, uh, I heard saying, a lot so of, is it all? Are they coming into extreme groups all because of the land, or is it just because they just? It's all land. It's by the land. Yeah, that's what a lot. Because I know some of some of the Middle Eastern countries, they're fighting like Christianity. Like some Christians fighting Muslims. Well, ISIS for land wasn't too. Christian though. No, but they're Muslim. It's some other. Okay. It's like it's some other like. So you saying in Egypt it could have been? Where, where did ISIS? ISIS was formed in Iraq. So well, did they just lose? No, they didn't lose. That that was uh, ISIS Ukraine. Is, so they, ISIS is not doing. No, we get no off on the. Yeah, but but I'm saying ISIS is Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, I see why these damn why these. I don't know what you talking why about. ISIS, ISIS in Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, you no, no, no. Up. I said, I said, I said. But I was like, why would they come into an extremist group? Like, why would they do that? Because they're ex- they're, they're trying to. If they're land, we don't know if their land was stolen. Like, but you know, we can't say for religious reasons because they weren't Christian. They were Muslim. So and they were in a Muslim country. So. It wasn't over a religious reason. Well, what'd you say? What'd you say? I was saying it wasn't over a religious reason why they came into why, a why, like a, why wasn't it? Because they're already probably Muslim. Who? What are ISIS? You talking about? ISIS is, a, is an Islamic only, extremist you, group. We yeah. said that already. I know, but I'm saying, though, we, we try to figure out why did they come into an extremist group? What do you mean? Like, why did they turn into an extremist yes, group? Because yes. they're trying to radically fight for something that they believe in. Yeah. So, so they have a so, group of people who do terroristic things. So religion. I mean, I, I don't know. Well, yes. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to figure out. That's how you want to dial it up. You don't feel like so you're one, fine. So one side may be coming into an extremist group because of the land, and one side coming into an extremist group, extremist group because they want their well, religion to be... Well, when we read, when we no, read, Osama, getting, when we read Osama's up. letter, who was the head of an extremist group, he said in the Quran, you are supposed to fight against those who, yes. who have done wrong to you. Yes. So those who are in extremist groups are fighting for people fighting against people who they believe have wronged them. Yes. yes. So they're going to they're do extreme things, side. extreme things to fight for their agenda. That's why I was trying agenda. to Why did ISIS that. feel like they were wrong? What? We don't know. Because they, they, are, they are Islamic. They feel like their land was taken. Let's look it up. But they were in Iraq. But they, they feel like that's they, their they, holy land. land the Islamic there. holy land they believe is in Jerusalem is in there. Bro, they under, believe that that is their on. land too. Bro. They're fighting for land in all the other you don't Middle understand. No, I, 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 I am. Okay, it's not just okay guys. Me. Okay, guys. It says. But they were in a whole different place. Bro. ISIS. They, 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 they believe that's their holy land. ISIS, sure the Islamic State, the also known as the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, and by its ag- Arabic acronym Daesh, is a Salafi jihadist transnational Islamic terror group. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. That's why I said it's Buku terror That's why earlier the, when you said I've. So you said Islam people don't believe the same things because obviously you have Islamic terror groups who don't believe the same same thing as peaceful as Islamic people. Let's look it up. What so is about, y'all telling ISIS me that you think that ISIS go. was fighting over is what Israel is today yes. and Palestine is today? Yes. yes, yes, in their own country, in Iraq. Listen, yeah, in yes. Iraq. Yes. ISIS, ISIS, They're fighting a, for land. ISIS was fighting to control territory and steadily consolidate and expand its position. Part of this ideological, it wants to create a government where Muslims can live under Islamic law or the Islamic State's twisted version of so it. Religion. 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 Bro, but they didn't say that. that they were fighting for Palestine and Israel. That though, is brother. the religion. You're going to make stuff. That's the same thing. Shit. The I'll land and the religion is the same thing. Bro. Can brother, we just finish brother, the video, brother, brother, bro? Brother. This has nothing no, to do with no, no, This no, has no, nothing no, to do no, with no, what we're watching, I know, I know, I know. They're trying to say that 
ISIS was fighting for this. They no, were. no, they were fighting. No, for it. they were. I think they, they were. No. That's what that's what they're saying. That's why I'm fucked up. Because they said behind land, behind the Islamic State. But behind state. their land, problem. But like, no, they're fighting I, for religion. ISIS, they're fighting for religion. ISIS, ISIS was that in country Iraq and Syria. Yeah. ISIS was. That's in Iraq over and there. Syria. That's over there. They're but not they fighting were, for that. I, but that's their holy land. They all believe it's their holy land. At the end of the day, bro, if everybody no. believes that's their holy they, they, land, they, they would all be fighting for that. There was. They are. They were. They were. They were all fighting for that. They were all fighting for that. At one point in time, I'm gonna tell you the first Islamic radical group that we saw: the PLO. The PLO. And where were they fighting for? All those countries fought for the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Yes, we just fought for that. They had freaking. They were headquartered in Egypt. They shot rockets in jo- from Jordan and then moved to Lebanon no, yeah, yeah, and did yeah, terroristic yeah. attacks were, from Lebanon down for that. into people Israel. Were all, yes. That is how yes. Islamic extremist groups have started. Yes. They are fight- They feel like the people in Palestine have been wrong. They're yes. so they started lead, up. A- yes. All the Islamic countries started an is- Islamic no. extremist group to fight for the liberation of those who have been wronged under Muslim religion, yes. under the Islamic yes. beliefs. Yes. So they're fighting he said for the liberation. Than no, no, he's not. No, I'm not. We're all saying the same so thing. We're all saying the same so everybody's been fighting saying more specific. Land. Yes. yes. They're, listen, they're fighting <laughs> for the people in those red parts. They feel like they have been wronged. Yes. Those people yes. in, the, in the red parts are Islamic. No, I get that. Yes. I get that. So I get that. all the Islamic nations around them, boom, Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, started the PLO. Iraq. The PLO started in Cairo, Egypt. Yes. That's where the... That, so, that, is, that is the first... You know, the Jewish people listen, were fighting listen. ISIS. Then. No, no. Bro, what are you saying? Can I just say they, what they say? Because because that, that, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yes. Was ISIS mad at the Jews? I believe so. I believe so. If we use this context, if we use this context, ISIS attack Israel, then 100% doing it for the Islamic people in Palestine and their the Jews, for sure. The ISIS did you was, not hear what I just said? They ISIS was taking over their land. Want, they want to have a country okay, I get that. where I get a Muslim that. government I, saying, I just don't know if they were fighting the Jews. I don't know. Do we know about that? No, they were not fighting the Jews, but saying. they were trying to take over ISIS land. Because I know that we were fighting them. They, we, the, the, the war that we fought them was in Syria. No, it yes, wasn't. But the United States, no, look it up. Right. It was in Syria. Right. That's, right. that's right. where it was. It was in Syria. That's where they were fighting, but they were fighting for Iraq. that behind okay, that. Okay, so were, were but, the Jews but, behind but, them with okay, that? Okay, pause, pause, the Jews pause, behind pause, them? pause, 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 behind pause, 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 pause. Hmm? What the hell are y'all talking about? When, when well, did, we're when, trying to figure where, out. When did ISIS, when did ISIS even come to the Because they're an extremist group, right? So we were just trying to figure out, like, Okay, what are the extremist group's goals, basically? I just told you. Okay, yes. Each extremist group is fighting to... They're trying to overthrow possibly a government to put in an Islamic, Islamic government, government, Islamic rule. So they fight for their religion. They fight yes. as, as Islamic jihadist extremists yes, yes. on behalf of Islamic religion yes. to put in Islamic control yes. because they believe that their, their religion. religion is the true religion. And Osama said, did he say that? But yes, he like, said that. that. But when it was saying that the extremist groups were being created in Palestine, they had a different goal because their land no, was being stolen. He's right. He's right. They did he's not right. have no, a religious right. goal. You're right. You're right. You're ISIS right. had no, a religious no, no, pause, goal. Pause, That's pause, what I'm saying. Pause, 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 organization. Yes. All these countries are Islamic countries. Yes. People in Islam are Islamic. They started the PLO to fight for the Islamic people in Palestine who they felt like were being wrong. That yes. is that is literally the goal of all Islamic extremist yes. groups. So therefore they shot out of an, they started in Egypt. They shot rockets into Israel out of Jordan, then ran up to Lebanon and did terroristic we attacks that. from we were Lebanon. Arguing about therefore, is this, was therefore, it religious or was it land reason? It's, 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 it's both. That's what you it's understand. Both. That's, what that's, what that's, what that's, it's both. both. That's what we're all I literally just, just told you. I literally <laughs> just explained the land and the land. I literally just explained it in a simple way. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Three times. Time out. Time out. Time out. See, this one, y'all are not understanding is what he's not understanding. What he's not understanding is the land and the religion is the same thing. Well, I was just that saying, is what it I is. was saying their religion fighting. is saying that's their land. Therefore, when they're fighting for the land, they're fighting for their religion. Well, it's not I, two separate things. I will say, I will say it like this: they're fighting. They're all Islamic countries, so they all have yes. the same mindset, religion. same goals. Yes, same religion. They feel like those people in the Palestinian land, the Islamic people, are being wronged. Therefore, as other Islamic people, they are coming to fight to help liberate them. Yes, yes. land. 
and religion. Yes, that's what I just said. Both boxes have been checked. There's the answer to your question. Yes. That, no it's more questions. Let's finish the video, please. Yes. Please. That was a 20 minute rant for no, no reason. No, it was. It was. It was. But I mean, I mean, it did. Goodness just, gracious. If we look online, and it did just say two different things, though. It did. It's the same thing. In ISIS, we just said that it said was religion reason, and the Palestinian re reason was a different reason because but, of the land. But I understand that, that the ISIS were, was trying to fight for the Palestinian people for their land. I don't think ISIS has. I, 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 well, I don't know, but we don't know. ISIS has nothing to do with this. But look, 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 we don't know if ISIS was fighting the we Jews don't. or not. Why do you keep saying ISIS? Why is ISIS because even we were trying an to, equation? Bro, bro, okay, all right, let's I'm just so get confused on when y'all brought we, ISIS up into we this. Were, we, were, we were brought ISIS into it is because that we were They're just saying, why did, their, why did these extremist groups keep forming? Yes. That's we, why we brought this up. We done been, we've been... <sighs> and he, what he read online was for the establishment of a total Islamic state everywhere. Yeah, has an Islamic government. Long story short. To yes. be ruled under Islamic yes. law. Which is we, so? They were fighting... Religion. But when did ISIS come into this equation? Bro, they never the said ISIS. Group. Terrorist group. We were just trying to figure out, like, we were just, it was just. They were saying, they were saying terroristic the attacks the terrorist on groups. the PLO. The PLO was doing terroristic attacks. Not I know, ISIS. I, I know, bro, but we just he said just that. He was just talking in general. He was just talking in general. Yeah. 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 He why talked about today. He was asking, why are there why, terrorist why, groups? Yeah, terrorist oh, groups. that's what he's saying. Well, we just said five different Islamic countries with five different Islamic extremist groups. There's one common denominator there. Yeah, there's one common denominator. And they all have the same goal. In, in a sense, not not probably. Uh, that's not what I was saying. That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was saying. Because I was saying they might have different goals. That's what I was saying. Yeah, no, they they have different goals, but they they're all fighting for the same. It's all it's all the same in a sense. But I feel like if they was all fighting for that land and shit, but they already did and they lost. But I mean, they would still be fighting for that shit right now. They are. They are. You just Egypt. I'm saying Egypt and Jordan and Syria. They're they're not fighting for that shit right now. Exactly. That's why I was saying earlier. I think that that's why the other Muslim countries won't take them because if they're both Muslim and they both believe the same thing. Why aren't they doing the same thing? Because they don't believe the same core well, values. They, they might cancer. That's mine. my whole point. I, cancer I, might spread in their country. I would like maybe. to know why. Maybe. I would like to. I honestly want to know a. Because I mean, because it could be a cancer. I would like to get know? a definitive and answer. They're in as the center of it, and they're they're just like angry about a situation. I, you know what I think? And they could come out to different countries. They probably trying to stop for no. them getting taken Let's just over. Google it. Let's just, let's, we can. Why don't? I see probably the only reason I can see because they probably get people coming in their stuff and probably shoot bombs out of their stuff and start another, you know, some stuff they don't want to start it from their land. They don't want to, you know. Mm. Bro, this it's is so deep. It is. That's crazy because, like, think about it. There's, these people are still really fighting for their land to this day. Like, to this day, since the Bible time. To this day. <laughs> to this day. It's, uh, they standing on business. It says we over here sleeping happily and everything every night, and we talk about America's well. It's got some shit going on over there. <laughs> New might slaughter them the next day. That's crazy, man. Okay, it says as desperate Palestinians and sealed off Gaza try to find refuge under Israel's relentless bombardment in retaliation for Hamas' brutal October seventh attack, some ask why neighboring Egypt and Jordan don't take them in. The two countries, which flank Israel on opposite sides, share border with Gaza and the occupied West Bank, respectively, have replied with a staunch refusal. Jordan already has a large Palestinian population. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah El Sisi, El Sisi made his toughest remarks yet on Wednesday saying the current war was not just aimed at fighting Hamas, which rules the Gaza Strip, but also an attempt to push the civilian inhabitants to migrate to Egypt. He warned this could wreck peace in the region. Jordan's King Abdullah that gave a similar sense. message earlier that day. No refugees in Jordan, no refugees in Egypt. The refusal is rooted in fear that Israel wants to force a permanent expulsion of Palestinians into their countries and nullify Palestinian demands for statehood. El Sisi also said a mass exodus would risk bringing militants into Egypt's Sinai P Peninsula from where they might launch attacks on Israel, <laughs> endangering the two countries' 40-year-old peace treaty. Okay, stop right there, stop right there. Stop right there. That's why I said. Now that I think about this shit now, Israel just ain't in no business because them saying that they're trying to do a genocide, they're low-key maybe not trying to do a genocide because it's Palestinian people in other countries. So on, they're bro. just standing on business by the Hold on, bro. Hey, look, I, I'm here to learn, bro. No, 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 no. I'm agreeing with you. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm agreeing with you. You didn't say that. Yeah. No, 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 I know. I'm saying they about to uh, fire your ass up for saying that. Like okay, they no, 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 no. This is my opinion and what I just heard. No, I know. I don't know. Hey, but I got fired I up for my opinion, too. So I'm, I'm just saying, up. as my brother in Christ, <laughs> I want you to know they about to fire you up. Hey, brother. Look, that been just saying And that, I break like, off all the word curses y'all you know? put on me in Jesus' name. You know, and say overpopulated Palestinians. Like, I mean, there's Palestinian people in Syria and all these different countries. I said like, that the they're not just trying to we wipe was, them out. We was arguing. They're just standing on business. They we, land. We was arguing about they, this. They feel like they they won that land. 
That's theirs. So you come fuck over them by some shit. They from the they they, they gonna they see about that. We said that. You <laughs> said you 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 Nobody wants them to come because you don't yeah, know who's yeah, the terrorist and who's not. Yeah, yeah, they just said. And they They just said. They just said. They just said they're not yeah. taking them because of risk for bringing in militants from these countries, which yeah, yeah. which they think could lead to an attack from Israel from their country, yeah, which that. would yeah, ruin yeah. their forty year peace treaty. Right. Right. Which is why they're not taking them. Okay. Right. Right. Causing another world war. Well, right, basically, right. just it will put their country in danger. It'll ruin be the that peace. War. It'll ruin the peace that these countries have established. As yes. you've seen, they already went to war and lost. Yes. That, then they get they have peace treaties now. So they said we're not doing this no more. That's like we sit in this house peaceful, and then a nigga come up in here. Hey, man, them niggas down the street that spit on me, and we black man, so we need you to come spin right now. Well, uh, I don't know about that one, brother. <laughs> All right, let's finish the video. All right. Them against Israel. Fighting went on for years, including the Israeli invasion of Lebanon to kick the PLO out of Beirut. The PLO eventually agreed to divide the land between Palestine and Israel, but there were still more and more Jewish settlers moved into the Israel-occupied Palestinian territories. In 1987, a violent Palestinian uprising was ignited, starting from the Jabalaya refugee camp after an Israeli Defense Forces truck collided with two Palestinian civilian vans, killing four of them. This was known as the First Intifada. This bloody conflict resulting in hundreds of deaths triggered a peace process with the signing of the Oslo Accords by Israel and the PLO, the Oslo I Accord signed in Washington, D.C., and the Oslo II Accord in Taba, Egypt. According to the Oslo Accords, the West Bank was divided into three areas. Area A was exclusively controlled by the Palestinians. Area B was controlled by both the Palestinians and Israel. Area C was fully controlled by Israel. That's to this day? The Second Intifada. It was like 1971, I think. The Second Intifada. Though further peace First talks continued in 2000, the Israelis and Palestinians could not reach agreements on issues like the status of Jerusalem, rights of refugees, and the increased Jewish settlement in Palestinian lands. Ariel Sharon, a Jewish Israeli who would later become Israel Israel's Prime Minister visited the Temple Mount, home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. The action was deemed offensive by many Palestinians, and the Second Intifada broke out. The violence ended with Israel's withdrawal from Gaza, but continued to settle in the West Bank. This is Israel crazy. conflict with Hamas. What was so offensive about him going there? Hamas is a Sunni Islamist militant group aiming to destroy the state of Israel and create an Islamic state. After the armed conflict between Hamas and Fatah, who managed the PLO, Hamas split from the Palestinian Authority and gained power in the Gaza. Israel put I'm, Gaza I'm, under sorry, a suffocating sorry, blockade, oh, leading to several bloody wars. No, but that is key, that just changed that is key But we read this already. Well, there was the FLO that split, and there was one half of the PLO. So it's basically what happened to the PLO. Fatah, the Fatah was the, was the government, uh, the Palestinian government, the good guys, like the actual government guys that was trying to yeah, yeah. be good. So how did they let them zip them? Well, they, they, they fought, and then they had an election, and Hamas won in, in Gaza. <laughs> They gang, that's how they gain power. That's 2007. This keep changing my aspect of everything, man. But Israel assassinated the leader of Hamas that won in 2007. They assassinated his ass. For real? Hell yeah. We, bro, we like, read all this already. We did, yeah. gang. But like, they still was in control. So but that like, was a boy. You cut the head off a, th a three-headed snake, another head gonna be there. I said that nigga got very mad at me for saying that. <sighs> Israel conflict with Hamas. It's so Hamas is a Sunni Islamist militant group aiming to destroy the state of Israel and create an Islamic state. After the armed conflict between Hamas and Fatah, who managed the PLO, Hamas split from the Palestinian Authority and gained power in the Gaza. Israel put Gaza under a suffocating blockade, leading to several bloody wars between the two groups in the Gaza Strip, including Operation Cast Lead, Operation Pillar of Defense, and Operation Protective Dang! Edge. In 2014, Hamas and Fatah reached agreement to form a national president. unity government. 
In 2018, the U.S. Embassy was relocated from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, which was deemed by the Palestinians as a signal of American support for Jerusalem as Israel's capital. 2021. The conflict between Israel and Palestine was reassumed by a series of hostile events in East Jerusalem, leading to several acts of violence until a ceasefire deal brokered by Egypt, Qatar, and the United Nations came into effect on May 21st. Peaceful though it may seem now, the complex and long-lasting territorial dispute between two states is a ticking time bomb that can explode any time. Thanks for watching. Why if you, you find this information please useful, like please give us a thumbs up like and Andrew Tate said, pressure cooker is bound to explode. But we got all these different religions, all these different cultures. I know we still have hate groups. Why everybody can't just live in peace over there too? What are you talking about there? Yeah. Bro, you saw the history. It's there's so deep. much history. There's it's so much deep. there's it's so deep. much history that goes into this. One side feels like they've been wronged. The other side feels like they're fighting for what they mm -hmm. They got yeah, they rightfully what own. They rightfully own because they, they both were there feel like first that. historically. They both feel like well, yeah, they both they feel both, the same way. They both have yeah. they both have really long. I feel like this mine. You feel like this ties. yours? Yeah. All right, then they tell right, let's hear about that then. All right, yeah, man. in laws. And they I can def I can definitely yeah, see. Um, I can definitely I definitely understand a lot more now. You know, yeah, yeah. That I was definitely a, yeah. like now that I have a whole entire historical rundown. I definitely understand. I remember people kept saying, "Look up Al Nakba. Look up Al Nakba." Well, now we know what the catastrophe was when seven hundred fifty thousand Palestinians were Which kicked out of their sad. homes and um, uh, denied re-entry. Israel sad. refused to let them come back. They refused to let refugees come back. They said, y'all not coming back. It's ours now. That's crazy. It is crazy. So, I mean, when you put into a lot of uh, historical context behind events like that, I mean, I can see how they feel they were wronged, you know? And I can, you know, I see how the Jews feel, when you see how the Jews feel like they were wronged, you know, as the six-day like, war, and they fought, a lot for a long they time. fought a long four time. different countries trying to come in there. They done stood the on business time, behind this land for we, years. We, what we not mentioning is, at the same time that happened was the Holocaust. Yeah. That was after the Holocaust. Yeah, not, yeah, but yeah. not long. That was after the Holocaust. Which yeah. was after? The three year war? Or the three war with the Holocaust? Oh, that was after the Holocaust. Yeah. No, I think the Holocaust came after that. No, the Holocaust, in the, 70s. the Holocaust was World War II. Yeah. Holocaust was not in the 70s. No, I'm talking about when they was fighting them off. It was like in the 70s. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. that was after the Holocaust. That, 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 all happened, that all happened after Israel declared itself a statehood. Because that's when, when Britain, 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 when Britain, when the UN tried to propose the land to the Jewish people, that was after World War II. All that, all this happened. That's why I say this was from World War II, because 1948 and all of that is after World War II. World War II ended officially in 1945, because that's when we dropped Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. Because the Japan, Japanese refused to surrender, and we they were all willing to die for the king of Japan. So we dropped the bomb on them, which was the first nukes ever dropped. We just knew it did mass destruction to get them to to um uh succeed to succeed. What is it? Is that the proper surrender? Word? Surrender. That it is. Yeah. Throw up the white well, flag. Yeah. I still hope that um, we can stop the innocent kids being killed, but um, I have no further When you look at it in this aspect. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen when it looks like this, but this you know, I still insane. hope that it stops, you know? Hell yeah. Hopefully my God can... I've seen, I've seen yeah, in yeah, recent yeah. news that a, ce a ceasefire is starting to um, um, develop. I don't know I what the validity that. of that. I've seen it on the local news, yeah. on the wow. Oklahoma news, KLC. I watched wow. it. They, re they released some hostages. Yeah. And they're they're trying to negotiate a peace fire, a yeah. ceasefire. Yeah. Trying Hopefully to, we can get something yeah. done, man. But uh, uh, Got to. I'm finna say something that's bad. Yo. We got to figure out how to f stop this conflict. If somebody we helped got, fund might be a 20 Hamas, conflict, it's going to be. If somebody helped fund the Hamas, there's probably another extremist group that is plotting right now then i ran they hear iran syria they Lebanon, they or whatever they are this is actually crazy but uh Thank you, Lord let us know how y'all feel about this video if it was a good video if it wasn't just let us know guys